What's going on everybody? It's Sleepy here. So I wanted to make this video just to show you guys kind of how I, uh, I guess you would say boost, but manually switch the uh, refresh rate and a whole bunch of other settings to enhance your VR gameplay on the Quest 2. So in the description I'm going to leave the link to this download here. Um, I hope many of you have heard of SideQuest in the past. I use it pretty much on a daily basis so you can download Windows here uh, Mac and Linux if you use Linux so once you have it all downloaded and set up you want to open it up now when you first come to it it should look something like this where it feels like like an app store or a game store or anything on that sort um, whole bunch down here this is also where you can get the virtual desktop patch so that your Oculus Quest 2 can play and utilize virtual desktop. But we're going to be focusing up here, and I know it's pretty hard for you to see in the corner, but there's going to be a wrench, and when you hover over, it'll say device settings and tools. When you click on that, it lets you, oh, quick, quick thing. So after you download SideQuest, you're going to need to go into your Oculus app on your phone and switch the account settings or switch the device settings into developer mode. Now, uh, Cass and Sherry, VR Cauldron, The Mystical, um, a, a whole bunch of different people have already made videos on this, so I'm not going to go into detail about how to go into developer mode. You need to create in a, a separate account for that or, or link your oculus account i forget but check them out i'll leave links for them in the description as well so if we head back over to side quest um one of the first things you'll notice is in this corner here there it goes it's uh it'll be red it'll say not detected and i'm not sure if you'll have an id number here yet so what you want to do once your oculus is in developer mode connect it to your pc and then when it's connected, it should turn into a yellow or an orange circle and say unauthorized, uh, unauthorized something. What you do then is go into your Quest 2 and put the headset on while it's still plugged into your computer. It's going to ask you to give permission. Um, what you're going to want to do, what I do, is if it's your personal computer, check the box that says always allow from this computer. Otherwise, you're going to have to put on the headset every single time just to reset this and, and do it. Um, you can plug it in. It'll automatically turn green if you allow it every time. I've plugged mine in. It's turned green. It says Oculus Quest 2 right here. And it gives me a percent of how much charge it has. If I unplug it, we can watch it um, go back to red not detected there we go so i'll plug it in right now and i have it currently plugged in off to the side but basically in there in here you have your refresh rate settings so you can go to default whatever you're natively set to i think with version 23 update on the oculus quest 2 it's uh natively running 90 hertz it wouldn't hurt to just check that out boom you're gonna get a little green marker that says refresh rate set okay Anything that pops up red on that bar is going to be a failure, and anything orange is going to need you to uh, do a little dig digging and figuring out what's going on with it, why you can't utilize it. Okay, so I click it every time I come in here just to make sure it's still running at 90 hertz and nothing like that. But you have a lot of cool features here. You can, you can select, turn on and off, or set back to the default, whether it's using, uh, for different apps, the chromatic abrasion. You can set your guardian, so... You can disable your Guardian entirely so you would never have to reset it anytime you picked the uh, the headset up or moved around. Although I do not recommend this. You are going to find yourself running into a lot of objects. Um, so what I do to full rate capture without body is right here. So I click this on, it bumps it to 60, 72 frames per second rather than 30. And that works fairly well for what I film on with my GoPro. Um, down here you have the FFR. I set this normally up to high when I'm hanging out. And then video capture size. This is how you get the capture resolution of your videos that you take inside of the Quest. Um, if I'm recording, I set it up to 1080. If I'm not recording and I'm just playing, I don't tend to mess around with this. 
and I don't tend to mess around with full rate capture just because that will give you some latency um, just due to it getting ready to, re to record the video for it. If I'm wrong on that, then maybe you can explain to me why there's more latency for, for full rate capture being on because um, I'm not entirely too sure about that. But right down here is what we are mainly focusing on and that's what we focus on every time we play. So you have your default, which I think is set to setting one and or zero. I think zero might actually just be default. Um, but this is your CPU and GPU level. So if you want the most that the Oculus Quest 2 has to offer, and I mean the most, you're gonna wanna choose level four Come down here to the texture size package and do 3072. It's the highest it can go. Now, if you want to get rid of any of any of this at any time, anything that you've messed around at all, simply unplug the headset, put it back on, hold down the power button for a few seconds until you get to the the power off menu, and then click on restart. I tend to power it off entirely and power it back on just to be certain it doesn't clear wipe. Um, but reset works too. I, the only thing is full rate capture, I think, does not reset when you do a reset. I think you have to power the device off entirely. So, try it out for yourself. Um, I notice that when I'm playing a lot of different games, super hot, I can play it as high as I can, but things uh, that go a little bit faster, pistol whip on a, on a hard difficulty, um, you'll notice an increase in latency at the higher you put these GPUs, CPU levels, and the texture size. So you're going to want to mess around with it. Um, my girlfriend doesn't play much VR, but to flex a little bit of what the Quest 2 really has to offer, instead of the default settings you get from the box, I set it to level 2 over here, which is the middle button. I know it's pretty hard for you to see. I couldn't get a, a great setup on this.